A new technological breakthrough in the field of water revitalization has recently taken place in the heart of the Austrian Alps. It is now prone to expand into the markets of North America and the Far East through the vehicle of Equalife technology. The following Austrian video presentation is translated from the German language. It will give you a glimpse of the research and some of the applications being made by this amazing technology as it proliferates throughout Europe. This video production is brought to you by Equalife Technology Limited of Canada. The following testimonials, tests and direct interviews are recorded from a cross-section of people. The industrial and scientific communities who are all exposed in one way or another to the effects and actions of Grander's living water technology. While the public at large accepts the effects of revitalized water at face value, the scientific community is groping to explain the workings of this significant discovery. Mr. Grander's invention could not come at a more opportune time as we begin to observe drinking water shortages and see man's inability to regenerate and rehabilitate industrial and municipal effluents. Energetically enriched natural living water such as this has become a rarity in this country. With the development of the industrial society, water has lost its original unique qualities. Man has learned to control water and adapt to its needs. The Hungarian physicist Professor Vincent Kiss describes the problem this way. The quality of water is derived from its structure. All life processes are intimately tied to water. Therefore, water occupies a significant position in our life. Water quality is degraded not only through impurities, the amount of sodium and lead, but also by the length of the underground pipelines and the accumulations of calcium and rust deposits. The cause of this degradation and loss of energy is friction, whereby the structure of the water is lost. What we drink and what comes out of our taps is usually biologically sick and dead water. Water is subject to all manner of environmental pressures. As a result, it loses some of its healing qualities and potential protective functions for the human body. Permanent radiation, electromagnetic interference, and variations in nature itself weaken the Earth's magnetic field, put pressure on the organisms, and constantly provoke new diseases which are not curable by traditional means or medical methods. The fundamental importance of water for life and well-being of mankind has moved again into the forefront of scientific interest. Medical scientists warn that energetically depleted water puts pressure on the human system. It reduces the body's natural ability to pump nutrients to the organs and muscles and is unable to carry off waste. If it were common practice today to measure water according to its physical or bioenergetic capabilities, there would have to be a revolutionary effect on the management of our drinking water. It is well known today that the impurities can be removed from water, but a certain amount or proportion remains dissolved. These residuals can trigger various mechanisms and information in our body when water is administered to it, and this can lead to the onset of different illnesses. The experience is that these residual frequencies can be extinguished by water treatment. The Austrian naturalist and inventor, Johann Grander, has, after decades of study, discovered how to revitalize water which has been energetically damaged and whose physical structure has been destroyed. He does so by reintroducing the water's natural bioenergies in concentrated form. The long-range significance of his invention, the water revitalization system, can hardly be imagined at this point.
Johann Grander's water treatment does nothing less than return the water's natural qualities by copying nature's processes. What happens when water runs over gravel or stones? The volcanic process by which these stones were produced caused them, over time, to align their electromagnetic energies in accordance with the north and south poles of Earth's polarity. The water in turn structures itself according to this global electromagnetic field. The molecules realign themselves and coalesce into large families, regenerating themselves. From this comes extensive cleansing power of water. Johann Grander's procedure is successful because it duplicates the efficient process of nature. Medical Dr. Kirchberg explains. We believe that we can overcome everything and even assume that we can move everything and take diversity as natural science, which in itself has nothing to do with knowing anything about nature. We try to discover the laws behind the obvious. We look for such and according to chemical and analytical forms imitate these although it is not the task of man. Natural science and all great inventions of man did not originate in this manner. When we consider homeopathic or the Bach floral therapeutic treatment of many people, there were always discoveries made about laws which were always there. This is the problem. On the other side, materialistically, we can say the body must be chemically treated by medication and this becomes a power struggle within the body, which can never lead to a harmonic freedom from illness and a healthy body. We treat the symptoms, but not the cause of the problem. We are now visiting a bio-greenhouse facility located in Austria, where the living water system was installed. We acquired the living water system a year ago, our business is a biological operation and it is important that we introduce as much vitality into our plants as possible. The energized water has rapidly advanced us in this regard. It is also imperative for soil activity because if the soil's bioactivity is high, healthier, and more robust plants are grown. We are no longer using fertilizers. We only use compost and use regenerated energized living water in the whole operation. Through the treatments our watercress sprouts faster than with normal water. We credit this effect to the living water. The watercress sprouts are ready in six to seven days now. Previously it required ten days. The physical structure of the watercress sprouts are much stronger and also much darker in color. The product also tastes better and therefore it's easier to sell. We had the watercress product analyzed for its vital quality. There is a big difference. We were told by the laboratory that they could not understand the reasons for large differences. We told them that we installed the living water system. They agreed it may very well be the reason for the improvements. Otherwise it would be unexplainable. The Feldinger Crest was investigated in the laboratory of Dr. Balser at the Hessek Regional Agricultural Institute, where Dr. Balser is an employee and qualified agricultural chemist. The cress was planted and compared to conventionally grown cress. The following results were obtained. Feldinger's crest had better developed structure in its ascending chromatography. We observed slower aging in the crest plants. The short drop-shaped formations in the upper part of the chromatogram, as well as the metal zones, demonstrates this excellently for the newer plants. 
In the Pfeiffer copper chloride crystallization patterns, substantial differences in the crystal structure are evident for the Feldinger crests. In comparison to the conventionally grown crests, the crystals are better developed and the structure is more extensively fibrillated. The structure has three elements, the inside core, middle, and outside tips. The density of the characteristic plant-like coverage of the plates indicate high vitality for the new product. The higher quality of the Feldinger crest is clearly indicated by the strong branching tendency of the crystals in their central root region. We have noticed several changes since installing the living water unit. One effect can be seen during watering of the plants. In case of the kohlrabi, all water droplets remain adhered to the leaves. Previously, the water had no life to it and simply ran off. As you can see, the leaves are dark green, much darker than our previous harvest. I also have to mention that we have a big problem with the moisture content in our greenhouses. This is now completely solved and the air is now very good, as are the working conditions for our personnel. We shall now introduce medical doctor Herman Goldman. We can take city water, which, from a chemical point of view, is of optimal quality. Yet at the same time, it is what I would call dead water, for it does not have its own frequency and lacks specific dynamics. Grander water, on the other hand, newly reactivated or revitalized, as we call it, is of a biological state exactly like that found in nature. Microorganisms reappear, cellular life develops, and we can reproduce a type of water that is exactly like that found in nature. Normal tap water is usually too soft through additions with salt and water softeners. This damages the skin, which is the surface that connects us to the environment. And so skin diseases of various kinds, rashes and so on, break out. I have seen marked improvement in a large number of my patients using the energized water system. When the water is alive, it is able to transport harmful materials away again. What seems to happen with the grander water, as we've discovered through testing and so on, is that even though the chemical contents of the water might be the same, that's not reduced, what happens is that the ability of the grander water to transport these chemicals, toxins, heavy metals and so on, is so great that they move right through the human system without doing any damage. Physicists today understand that harmful and toxic materials, even after they've been chemically removed, remain present in matter in the form of certain electromagnetic frequencies. These negative oscillations are transferred by water to the human body and can cause a range of sometimes unexplainable allergies or sicknesses. Experience has shown that the frequencies in question are eradicated by the water revitalization process. As you can see, I'm sitting in my private whirlpool which is filled with Mr. Grander's living revitalized water. We installed the unit in my main intake pipe which services my private residence and my clinic. I can say now that I no longer use any chemicals such as chlorine. I only use a bit of sea salt and a filter for the outdoor swimming pool. This water as you can see is extremely clean and fresh. The water is about five weeks old. I no longer need cleaning solutions because the living water carries off dirt and other impurities which use less detergents and cleansers in the house. We now introduce you to Dr. Gottfried Titchy at the University of Salzburg. The quality of the water has a significant effect on the amount of energy our body may store. One way of ascertaining this fact is by measurement of the biological resistance of the body. The electrical resistance of the skin measured in kilo ohms on 10 acupuncture points of the hand. The measurement allows conclusions to be drawn on the resistance in a person's body. If the instrument pointer moves to the green segment of the scale, the values are good. The energy in the body can flow and the body energy is unrestrained. 
The values in the orange region indicate strong disturbances and a strong malfunction of the organ on which the measurement is made. At the University of Salzburg, under the supervision of Dr. Gottfried Tietze, the influences of various types of Grander's water products were investigated by measuring the energy fields of 17 people. First, investigations were conducted with untreated water without direct contact between the water and the person. Subsequently, the same water was poured through a living water treatment unit and the measurements were repeated. The test results were alarming. The untreated water in all cases diminished the energy level of the body up to six times the neutral case. In other words, the untreated water influenced the energy state of the body without providing energy to it. The living water, on the other hand, resulted in marked improvements without exception in every person. The test results, as summarized by Dr. Tietze, based on the comparative test, it appears that positive results were obtained on the energy level of the bodies. Since installation of the water unit, we observe a substantial savings in chemicals. Due to the better water quality, we also see a reduction in water consumption from 40 to 60 percent savings in water treatment chemicals because calcium deposits formation is dissolved and remains more soluble. The cars also wash much cleaner and no longer leave stains since using the living water device. I consider myself fortunate to have obtained this equipment and can recommend its installation everywhere. Here we have a processing machine for colored photographs. The key problem with this process is that the paper cannot be touched during the developing process. During the process, relatively high temperatures are used, and the paper has to pass through a number of rollers in liquid solutions, chemical baths, in sequence. In this process, slime deposits form on the rollers, and there may be a tendency for mineral buildup. Earlier, we had a problem. Due to mineral deposits, we had to clean the machine at least twice a day, so the photographs remained scratch-free and the paper became caught up by the rollers because of the algae growth. Without telling anyone, we installed a living water system and after about 10 weeks, we asked if the technicians noted any change. Embarrassed, they explained and admitted they were cleaning the machine now only once a week and when the paper got caught in the machine because it was placed improperly. With high gloss papers, the problems arise when black fields have to be reproduced. With dirty rollers, every speck of dirt will show up on the photograph. High gloss reproductions like this, I would have to say, is only possible because we have installed a living water system. We have come to a point where we reduce the cleaning time by 200 hours per week, as well as saving two pallets of ion exchanger and several hundred liters of cleaning solutions. The scratches have disappeared, and the workers are happy because they now have less exposure to the cleaning chemicals. Our first contact with the water revitalization people was last summer. After the discussions, we decided to obtain a water revitalization unit for our cooling water tower. We obtained a two-inch unit in 1992. After four to five days, we stopped chemical additions since to date we have used nitrosite, hardness stabilizers, and occasionally small amounts of phosphates and hypochlorite. There were slime bacteria which deposited on the tower surfaces and it took 10 to 15 hours daily to clean the tower. 
In 14 days, we determined that the calcium and slime deposits had disappeared from the system. The top of the condenser, which was chemically cleaned a year ago, was also free of deposits, especially in the area where the revitalized water was in direct contact with the pipes. Rust deposits disappeared. The cooling water tank was also cleaned right down to the base coat. Slime bacteria was dissolved and removed, and wherever the water touched the surfaces, the deposits disappeared. During the summer months, where there was much more water usage, the surfaces became totally clean. In testing the water, we now find the water does not smell anymore. It is very clean, soft, and pleasant to touch. It is very refreshing. I must now emphasize that this is cooling water, circulation water, and has nothing in common with drinking water anymore. In spite of the extensive use this water gets, with the living water system, it remains very clean. I have followed closely the washing of our plastic trays in the installation. In this machine, we consume large quantities of chemical cleansing agents and gloss drying agents which attack the plastic and in some cases eventually destroy the containers. This equipment runs at 90 degrees Celsius. On installation of the water revitalization unit, we reduce the temperature to 60 degrees Celsius within a few weeks. And after 14 days, we have stopped adding the gloss additive which resulted in enormous savings in the chocolate mold forms. Annually, we now save some $48,000 US. The chemical costs are now down to zero. The costs associated with the overall operation of our water treatment plant have been significantly reduced as a result of the use of the living water system in the plant. Here is my septic tank. I installed the water revitalization unit in November, and as it is now evident, the solid deposits are completely dissolved in this septic tank. I have almost clear water in this septic tank. I could not see these concrete walls six months ago, and now they are completely clean. The concrete looks like it did 18 years ago, when I first put in this tank. By way of comparison, let me show you my brother's septic tank. My brother built his house four years after mine, and so his tank is also four years younger. The difference is clearly evident and the lack of water revitalization effect shows up by the way of deposits on the concrete walls. Here we are in Czechoslovakia close to the Austrian border near Rasenhaven. The lake is called Mushaf Lake. There are actually three lakes with a number of rivers feeding into them. About three years ago it was decided to drain these lakes completely because they were dead and heavily polluted with industrial waste. Several thousand tons of fish died and no one knew exactly what to do about these lakes. So I came onto the scene and took a water sample to Mr. Gronder. Upon determining the toxicity of the lake water through testing, he immediately decided to treat the lake with his technology. Today, as you can see on this film, the lake has been completely restored and the fish and birds have returned. Also, the natural water color is back. You may see here how the water turns even though there is no connection to the next section. The water is working 
and an energy center has developed. Algae is a form of life, really. Water doesn't destroy life. Water supports it. You may clearly see the algae and fish thrive here now. One does not see dead things float around anymore. The fish come up and feed on the algae with gusto. There is a sign that the lake is alive again. Here we observe the restoration process of contaminated water from Lake Mushaf. It is magnified 8,000 times and is reduced to slow motion for filming. The black dots are pollution particles. Microorganisms are voraciously feeding on the pollutant particles. The byproduct is completely organic. Healthy living water enables these microbes to maintain a clean, balanced environment. We know today that there are thousands of toxins in our food, the groundwater and air. Holistic medicine means that man has to find his way back to the original state which developed over millenniums. That is the greatest problem. We must follow this path. Therefore, there is a very unique therapeutic opportunity here for me by taking advantage of Mr. Grander's revitalized water Life can only be provided by true vitality. Water is the mother of all life. I can keep a corn kernel for 50 years and nothing will happen. But when moisture is added, it begins to grow. As time goes on, conditions deteriorate. Today, things are worse. In Tyrol, Austria, only 7% of water is drinkable. I would like to work with all the good people, such as we have at Ecolife Technology, so that we may help restore our planet's health. If there is a will, it will happen.